Greetings! I'm Epic Titus, and this is Epic Tech. And we are back with... Oh, what happened here? Why did I have damage here? And we're missing a... I used to have a cargo container there. What happened? What did I miss? Ay ay ay. Never mind. I'm not even gonna worry about it. I don't I have no idea what happened there and I don't don't care. Because I do have some exciting news. I believe around here somewhere I heard the sound of a spider. I don't know where he is. But I learned through the comments. Let me get rid of this. I don't need that. I learned through the comments that um that I was doing this all wrong. <laughs> basically there is actually they they did fix the bug um where turrets are constantly firing at the same target but i in all of my attempts to try it did not do the right thing i do not want shoot on i want the turrets to be on but shoot to be off so we'll find out the next time a spider appears whether it actually shoots the spider and whether it shot stops shooting the spider after it's dead there's all kinds of things that could go horribly wrong or horribly right. I don't know. But I also, also from the comments, by the way, thank you all. I love the comments. I got another great idea. Actually, this one specifically came from the Discord server. So I'll say it again. I know I say it a little too much, but I'm going to say it again anyway. Come join us on the Discord. We're having a blast over there, and I hang out and chat and... And, uh, and it's fun. But somebody said, hey, I'll just stick it up on the top of the screen, but uh, um, hey, hey, why can't I? Oh, hmm. okay, there we go. Somebody said, hey, why don't you, um, why don't you add in Sage's mod, um, what's it, Cockpits and More, right? Is that what it is? Cockpits and More? Oop, that's not right. Hang on, let's do this. G, and it's uh, Industrial Cockpits and More is what it is and use the industrial industrial flight seat it's a fun thing to say um the industrial flight seat is about the same size as the uh passenger seat however it uh it's an actual cockpit so it'll, it'll work a lot better that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying okay i'm gonna get this up in the air so i can work on it because I need to get rid of this guy right here. And we're going to get rid of that. And... Yeah, that should work. Okay, so... Seven. And I think it's like that. Oh, and I think I'm going to need... Let's grab the parts for that. There we go. Look at that. Okay, let's take a look. So if we jump in there, now I actually get the full whole, like I can actually leave the cockpit view or the, the first person view and I can control it and all kinds of wonderfulness. And I can hit control G and get builder mode on. And that, that's the most awesome part of it all. So I can actually do that and we can actually place blocks in this mode. That's awesome and I just heard the turrets fire off and then stop so that makes me happy anyway let's get a landing gear back on here uh oh where am I going to put a landing gear mm. yeah we can't put it on the bottom because it's the one thing about that kind of cockpit this whatever thing it is, flight C or what I can't remember what it's called now. It's like two seconds ago and I can't remember. It only has one mounting point and it's on the top of there. So I think we're going to have to hmm, I think we're gonna have to steal this spot here. And hopefully it doesn't fly and flip and all that kind of thing before I get a chance. And um please stop falling. And that's not going to fit there. Wait. There we go. We're good. We're good. There you go. Lock down. I'm cool with that. You can do that. Go ahead. Just lock in. Can you go down a little further? Will it actually lock? Yeah, it just locked. Nice. 
Um, and then actually, okay, we need to put a gyro back on this thing, of course. And I'm thinking we don't need that button anymore. Because it's not such a pain to just hop in and turn things on and off. So, I mean, the whole reason I had that button there was because, like, I would forget that, uh, that I wanted to turn off the downward thrusting thrusters. Not to mention that they're high enough. I don't think they're going to damage anything. Uh, we might lose our landing gear at some point, but I'm not going to worry about it for right now. Okay. I think we're good. Is there anything else I want to do to this while I'm at it? Oh! And I just realized I forgot to say that Industrial Cockpits and More is our... More of the Day. Well, there you go. Industrial Cockpits and More by Sage also includes several other items, not just the uh, industrial flight seat, but uh, there's a bunch of other cockpits in here. And there's a new kind of conveyor ports. Um, I'm not sure if I'll use them. Oh, there's a industrial hydrogen thruster. I haven't even played with this. Mini conveyor connection. I've looked at some of these in the past, but... I might have to fiddle with these. Might have to fiddle with those later. Ooh, I'm hearing wonderful sounds. It sounds like... Sounds to me... Yeah, sounds to me like these uh, turrets are working quite nicely. That's wonderful. Okay. Duh. Ah! Okay, no. Turrets, do your things. Shoot them, please. Yeah, kill them. Murderify all the spiders. Are they dead? Okay. Let's get the free parts. Construction components. And steel plates. He's a wonderful thing. There's another one. Come on. It's in there. Kind of. It, this highlight goes in weird places. Ah, really? Okay. Okay. Red numbers are a problem. I don't like red numbers. They make me anxious. There we go. Okay. Oops. Unlock. See, this is nice. You know, just kind of doing this thing like this. And yeah, I know I'm blocking my uh, my light here, but. Oops. Once, uh, once I put this in, I'm actually going to mount the lights underneath. And then I'm also thinking I'm going to have something over here kind of pointing down at the wreck. Seems like a good idea, right? I don't know. Oops. Ah, come on. It is a little bit weird to build. It's like the perspective is a little bit different when you're in a ship builder mode. And so it doesn't aim. See, I'm, I've got the the aiming target down here, but it's up, it's just, it's a little weird. All right, so let's throw a light up here, pointing that direction. See, that lights up the wreck really nicely. And once I actually get in and fiddle with the settings, make sure that that radius is maxed out and the fallout is maxed out and the intensity is maxed out. That should do a great job. Yeah, look at that. That's really lighting up the wreck nicely. Beautiful. Put in a couple of corner lights. 
which unfortunately I will have to reconfigure later. That's okay. It's a bug that they still have not fixed. At least I, I, I think they haven't. That even when you build these corner lights, yeah, see they don't really do anything. Actually, that looks like they're doing more than they used to. So let me go check that out. So they're kind of dim right now, but before they did nothing at all. Just need to kind of fiddle with those settings. And look at that! They actually work! That's excellent. Okay. That was a big issue before. Inventory. Inventory's full. Inventory. There we go. We'll probably throw on a few more lights here and there. But for now, I think that's going to do us quite well. Now let's get rid of the remainder of this guy. Yay, we can actually walk back here now. And we'll have to move a few other things around, I think. But first, we are going to start work on our ship that's going to exit us from the planet. Like, get us back out into space. Um because I don't want to stay here much longer than I have to. And once we actually get... Like, I'm going to probably put up a few more turrets now that they actually function and, um, and grind down the rest of the front of the MBT. But then I'm just going to put that in a cargo container and we're going to get out of here. Uh, we are going to need to be able to do hydrogens, atmospherics, and ions. Um, the atmospherics will get us out to the edge of the atmosphere. The hydrogens will get us out to where the ions will actually work. So um, that's the plan anyway. So we're going to have to kind of build this around a hydrogen tank. So let's get that on first. Yeah large hydrogen thruster on the back because that's going to be our main source of exit velocity um, also the other thing everybody's going to be sitting there doing calculations and all this kind of thing of whether i can escape or not i've found those calculations are occasionally right i'm not going to worry about it my thought is this i'm going to build it just from gut and we're going to try to fly up. And if if the atmospherics can get us off the ground and up far enough to actually hurt ourselves, then they can stop us from falling. Unlike the, uh, the MBT that was actually trying to get up entirely on hydrogens. So I'm not even going to turn on the hydrogens until the atmospherics aren't working anymore. I don't know. I think I actually like the fighter cockpit better for this kind of thing. It just doesn't look right to me. Going to put fighter cockpit. Is that more th free parts I hear? Not yet. That one is. Ooh, lots of steel plates. Is this friend around here somewhere? How do they die over in, like, these areas? I don't have anything pointing this way. Uh, I guess it can kind of point that way. Hmm. Okay, no complaints. All right. All right, standard things one should always have. A radio antenna. But there, 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 and there. Oh, they're bringing me more stuff. I think the spiders are actually my slaves. And they want me to leave the planet, so they're bringing me free things. And in their culture, the, the, you know, their sacrifice is a noble thing. You know? It's like, because they have so many, they have so many, like, little spiderlings that for them to sacrifice themselves for the sake of the colony is a good thing, right? 
This all makes sense in my head. It, it totally does. What are you doing, spiders? Come on. Just come over here, get killed, get me my parts. And we'll all be happy. Duh! Okay. I may have been wrong about the whole cultural thing. Anyway, I'm just about done, I think. I'm gonna go over it one more time. Actually, we'll go over it one more time together. So here we've got... Um, Two large atmospherics, two small ions, and one large uh, hydrogen thruster on the back. And and you might be wondering why this is different. Well, we need the large um, atmospherics to, well, get out of the atmosphere. Once we get out into space, it's really just a matter of getting to the MBT. It's not really about having a whole pile of thrust. I think. I'm hoping. Uh, anyway, and then we're going to actually need to be able to lift off the planet um, without, you know, because we can't tip straight. For, like, we kind of could. Anyway, this is this will help us fly around flat, um, these large atmospherics pointing down. I'm not worried about, like, maneuvering here inside the atmosphere. This thing is to get us from the planet to the surface. And that's all. So I've got ions pointing in every direction. I've got um, atmospherics pointing in every direction except up because we have gravity. And I have just the hydro thruster on the back, the large one there. I need to conserve weight is the biggest thing here. So I don't want to put on any thruster I'm not going to use. That's my thought. Not sure how realistic it is. And I'm going to see, you know, there's going to be a test flight. Don't worry about that. Um, but I think that we're pretty darn close. We should have something in the hydrogen tank. 10% full. I think I threw about 2,000 in there. So we're going to need a lot more ice than I currently have to fill that hydrogen tank. And of course, we're going to want to bring a lot of ice with us. So we're probably going to take a couple more trips over to the mountaintop over there and dig up some more... Um, thinking I'll probably go by hand. Yeah, once this thing is functional, as a matter of fact, I wanted to take it off and make sure that it actually does fly. Um, I need to get it up high enough so that I can put a connector on the bottom of that large con cargo container. Because I'm going to hook up to the ship, uh, or sorry, to the station and pull everything that I want into the, con the uh, container there. All right. Oh, yeah, no problem. No problem at all. This thing flies like a dream. Do dreams fly? Never really thought about it. Hmm. Anyway, that's what I wanted to do. And now that that's on there, I can just set it right back down again. Lock it in place. And there we go. <laughs> right, because it's touching the ground because it's the same height as those, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Um, I don't know if I have all the parts. Oh, I do. Nice. Okay. There we go. We have a functional... Uh, well, <laughs> we'll see whether it can actually get to space and back. One way or another, we need ice. So I think that's the next thing we're going to do locked in. I'm not exactly sure how it is that um, a magnetic lock would be able to lock to snow, but you know, it's fine. Now the next question is, yep, that's what I thought might happen. Mm-hmm. Don't you dare chew on my ship. Where'd you go? Where are you? And, of course, it's a white one. 
Come on. Can I not destroy them anymore? Uh oh. No. No, 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 no. No. Uh huh. Go away. Where are you? Leave my ship alone. Where are you? Is that all of them? No, don't go away. Jeez. I need to put a collector down there so it catches all the ones that slide out. Of course, it destroys the ones that... Wait a minute. Is that just collecting them? I think that's just collecting them. Because, like, right now I have nothing. I do that, and yeah. Okay, so what that does mean, though, is I can just sit here and kind of do this sort of thing. I think that was kind of their point, was that you don't have to go around hitting F. You can just hold down your drill button. Got to do fun things every once in a while. Oh, this is actually working out a lot better than I thought it would. Look at that. Beautiful, and we're back. And I'm betting just during that amount of time, we filled up our hydrogen tanks too. Look at that, 100%. And the oxygen generator, ah, dang, keep doing that. Uh, still has 16,000 ice in it. So we could probably fill it up again. We might be able to make it out to space on this. So, yeah, we might be able to. Uh, what are you shooting at? Well, I mean, I shouldn't really say, what are you shooting at? I know what you're shooting at. You're shooting at big old nasty spiders. I heard another one. There he is. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come be my friend. I just wasn't paying much attention. There he is. Motors. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take free components. That just might be the uh, title of this episode. Free Components. Now let's back this guy up. There we go. Alright, so that car container is full. So this is kind of going to be a good test. Because we've got a full cargo container. Oh, good grief. Stupid spiders. All right, I think it's time that we figure out whether we can get out into space or not. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's locked. There we go. Why are we not... Oh, good grief. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even have enough thrust to get off the... To get off at all. Okay, so we might be carrying too much. Let's go ahead and relock in over here. And not bring up every... Everything that we can on the first... On the first trip. That decreased our... Oh, that literally cut our weight in half. Okay. So, yeah, let's try this again without that much in there. If we can get off the planet this way, that changes things a bit. Okay. So, where is... I guess it doesn't really matter that much. 
Here we go. So right now, this is just atmospherics. Oh, shoot. You know what? I just realized that I need to be ready with uh, groups. I need to be ready to turn on an up and down the uh, thrust override. Okay, let's do this again because we because once we get to the point where the uh, atmospherics aren't working anymore, that's when we're going to start using the uh, hydros. But we don't want to use them at the maximum right away. Oh, and you know what else I want to do? I could do this pretty quick, though. I just, I want to turn off the oxygen generator, because I want to see if we can do this with nothing but what's in the tank and no additional ice. Now, we're definitely not getting as much acceleration as we were. Oh yeah, now we're losing speed, so let's go ahead and turn on the hydros. And, oh boy. Come on. There we go. Now we're gaining speed using the hydros. definitely not the most efficient way to do this. No? Okay, so the atmospherics are still helpful. Nice. I think we're doing well. No, we are not doing well. I've been falling and I didn't notice it. Am I going forward again? It's hard to tell. <laughs> okay, let's see how we're doing on that uh, hydrogen tank. Oh look, it's almost gone. Okay. We'll turn on the hydrogen generator. Or the oxygen generator, I mean. The question is, are we... See, now we're actually gaining it. That's good. So I think if we had, if I hadn't screwed up the stuff, I think we actually would have made it all the way. Well, plus, I, I didn't even think about the fact that... Um, let's see, let's turn dampeners off. Ions should actually give us some thrust now. Make sure I can see that. So if I, oh yeah, look at that. Ions are actually thrusting now. So I think we could actually turn off the hydros. And I know they're tiny little. Yeah, those tiny little thrusters aren't going to do much. I think some large ions on the back of this thing would actually be handy. Hey, there's the uh, the original little ship we were gonna <laughs> we were gonna fly down. And we're back. Okay. So now the evil Igor is still inside. I kind of want to go take a look and see what the heck is going on there. Whoa. Okay. Like how in the world? Oh, he's healing me at least. I can't complain too much. Okay, evil Igor. What's your what's your issue? You're short a few interior plate. And of course you're not connected into our system. Well, I think we're gonna have to wait on that because the end of the episode is nigh. 
or something like that. Anyway, we are back, so thumbs up for that. Hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button. Tell me what you think of this whole returning to the base thing. I want to hear all about it. I love comments, and uh, I do read them all. I haven't, been, I haven't been responding to very many recently, but I've just been super busy. So, anyway, I am reading them. I promise that. I am reading them. So, so next time, we're going to go ahead and finish up Evil Igor here, and we're going to hook him up into the system and finish kind of making some changes to the ship that brought us out here. I, have, I don't even have a name. I need a name for the ship that brought us out here. Um, the one that just functioned properly. We'll grind down that one we were starting on. And um, I think we're going to need, you know, a couple more ion thrusters and I don't know. We'll figure it out. Give me some suggestions on what you think should change on that ship. Definitely going to need something. If we want to actually cart parts back and forth, we are going to definitely need some better atmospheric thrusters. So, anyway, as always, I'll see you next time on Epic Tech. And now i got to figure out how to tame Evil Igor. Ooh, maybe a sensor.